revealed, the Queen has a secret speech prepared and ready for World War III. The Queen has a speech written from 1983 at the height of the Cold War and as the world prepares itself for the prospect of a new Cold War or even a third World War it is still incredibly prescient. After the poisoning of Sergei Skripal in Salisbury, the UK has pointed the finger at Russia for organizing a hit on British soil and people are beginning to speak of a new Cold War. The Queen has a speech prepared in case this terrible event does happen. It may have been written nearly 40 years ago and is of its time, but it is still relevant today. It reads, The horrors of war could not have seemed more remote as my family and I shared our Christmas joy with the growing family of the Commonwealth. Now, this madness of war is once more spreading through the world and our brave country must again prepare itself to survive against great odds. I have never forgotten the sorrow and the pride I felt as my sister and I huddled around the nursery while I sat listening to my father's, George VI's, inspiring words on that fateful day in 1939, at the start of the World War II. Not for a single moment did I imagine that this solemn and awful duty would one day fall to me. But whatever terrors lie in wait for us all, the qualities that have helped to keep our freedom intact twice already during this sad century will once more be our strength. The Queen introduces a personal note into the speech, adding, My husband and I share with families up and down the land the fear we feel for sons and daughters, husbands and brothers who have left our side to serve their country. The Queen's son, Prince Andrew was serving in the Navy in 1983 and she wishes his safety. Her Highness added, my beloved son Andrew is at this moment in action with his unit and we pray continually for his safety and for the safety of all servicemen and women at home and overseas. It is this close bond of family life that must be our greatest defense against the unknown. If families remain united and resolute, giving shelter to those living alone and unprotected, our country's will to survive cannot be broken. The speech concludes with the Queen blessing the country to fight of new evil. It said, as we strive together to fight off the new evil, let us pray for our country and men of goodwill wherever they may be. God bless you all. Tensions between Russia and the UK have been escalating. Putin hit back at the UK's accusations and Theresa May's ultimatum. In response to the alleged poisoning, the UK expelled 23 high-level diplomats, which the Prime Minister said were in reality undeclared intelligence officers. The move marks the biggest such dismissal in more than 30 years. Putin's spokesman Dmitry Peskov reiterated Moscow's claim the Kremlin had no connection to the poisoning of double agent Sergei Skripal in Salisbury and issued a stark warning to the UK. Russian news agency TASS quoted Mr Peskov as saying, Moscow's stance is well known, London was told about Moscow's position through diplomatic channels. Moscow has no connection to the incident that took place in the United Kingdom. Moscow won't accept absolutely unfounded accusations against it, which are not substantiated by any evidence, and won't accept the language of ultimatum, ultimatum, 